Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach uh, files to records uh, in Zoho CRM. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to call an endpoint that's going to return something. We're going to convert it into a file, and then we're going to save that file on a record in Zoho CRM. So I'm going to share my screen. Screen share. Okay. As you can see, I've got a record here. It's a contact is for uh, elongated muskrat. Uh, if you want to know more about elongated muskrat, you can uh, view my previous video up in the corner up here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a um, uh, function. So in Zoho CRM, you go to developer spaces or settings, then developer space, and then there's functions. And I just created a standalone function right here. So all this is doing right now is we have a URL, right? That we're calling, we're doing a get, um, a get request, and then we're printing that out. And this is uh, basically if you search for Ether Automation in Google, that's, this is what it's, what's gonna return. Now, let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to be uh, creepy and I wanted to search for elongated muskrat and then I wanted to email that, that search results to elongated muskrat. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna call that search, which is right here. Then we wanna save this in the record for elongated muskrat. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing is we actually want to um, add this thing right here. It says response dash format file. <clears throat> so what this is going to do is that it's going to return. It's going to interpret the response from this endpoint. If I could spell, that would be fantastic. Response format execute. Great. So now it's a file. So what do I want to do with that file? Well, I want to save it to elongated muskrat's um, uh, contact record. So how do I do that? It, it's actually fairly straightforward once you have this uh, is in a response. Let's go um, info because I want to see what this does. Uh, Zoho.crm.attach file, that first one here. You can ask for the module. In this case, the module is contacts. And then it's going to ask for the ID. Let's just go ahead and take the ID out of elongated muskrat. Let's go paste. And then it's going to ask for a file. I'm going to put in response there. Now, this is fine and dandy. And if uh, you see, I can execute and it says code success. So now if I refresh, what I'm expecting is the attachments to show up here. Attachments, and if I click it, click here if you're not redirecting in a few seconds. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. We could do any amount of endpoints go ether automation, let's try this one. Let's try then Google HPS, ether automation. Slash. Boom. And again, let's refresh. <clears throat> Two attachments, recent one. Ether. So then here's our website converted into HTML. <clears throat> so this is nice, but this naming is not particularly helpful. So what do you want to, how, how do you name these files as they come in? Well, let's go back to our function here. So back in here, I'm going to go um, response. Uh, response equals response dot set file name 
um, either their automation website. Okay. And now if I save, yes, yes. It successfully uploaded, and when I refresh, you can go to attachments, there's either free, and this one has Ether Automation websites, which allows me to download, open up, and it's not loading because this is a Mac. Once again, you want to call an endpoint. You want to have the response format, response format as file, and then you want to attach it as a file to the record. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.